Hey guys, this is CI Crush 13. Figured I had a little extra time here today and wanted to give you guys a, a quick tour of the man cave. Uh, got a couple things that I collect down here. Uh, if you guys can't kind of tell, uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan. So got a few things that not everybody gets to see, some things that everybody does get to see. Um, you know, a little bit of everything here uh, across the board. So just gonna show you a few Quick highlights, uh, one of my all-time favorites for those of you who have played Kodar, I love you. Uh, this is my Darth Revan mini bust. Only a couple thousand of these were ever made, uh, so very hard to find these uh, nowadays because these have been out of production for a while, but Darth Revan mini bust sitting on the Sabacc deck <clears throat> and a couple of the older novels that they should have used in the uh, sequel trilogy, but guess not. Uh, Few of the uh, well, one of the droids I built down at uh, Galaxy's Edge, and the first Mandalorian Lego set that actually included Mando the ATST from season one. Uh, second shelf, mostly books, Mando, <clears throat> and then going down the third shelf, we actually do have Mando himself. A stack of my uh, comics that I can't stack anywhere else. Working on that and Boba, and then down at the bottom. Uh, kind of a hodgepodge. You got Batman, Arkham Knight, my son's Yoda, and my son's R2. So, Star Wars, big part of it. And then uh, a couple lightsabers here on the wall. Luke and Kylo there, and then Revan over there as well. So I said, I love Revan. Switching gears to the opposite wall. We got the hockey wall. And the hockey wall is, uh, this is all my autograph well, I should say all of my autograph, but most of my autograph stuff um, that I've got. So obviously in the center is the Iserman jersey autographed, obviously, behind the museum glass. That was extremely expensive to put up, but yeah, we got the Iserman jersey. Now I'm gonna go up here. I have my Nick Lidstrom autograph stick. This is actually my hockey stick. Uh, he ended up showing up at the rink I was playing at and signed a few kids sticks. So. Uh, yeah, Nick Lidstrom signed my stick, and I had to go get a new one. <clears throat> and then, sure enough, there's Nick Lidstrom and a piece of one of his sticks. Uh, you guys may have seen this in one of my other videos. Uh, Brady Kachuk, rookie, authentic. I got an Anthony Mantha uh, autograph card here. Nathan McKinnon. Of course, the legend himself, Steve Eiserman. And a Vlad Tarasenko dual patch, artifacts. Rookie card, I uh, found that in a box here not too long ago that I've had sitting around since I think 2013, 2012, 2013, something like that. Uh, my Philip Zadina autograph, rookie card, and the Pavel Datsuk artifacts, a uh, graded card that just came in. So kind of displayed the, the few cards that I like to up there on top of the Eisman jersey. May have to get more storage at some point in the future. Uh, and then shifting gears over here, uh, if you guys can't tell, I'm a big Wings fan. I live in Detroit, but uh, I do have other players listed here. So going top to bottom, uh, Cronwald, the hit that kind of made Nick Cronwald famous. And I, I love this guy's reaction right here. Classic. But Marty Havlat, I'm sorry, your career was pretty much over after that hit. And then I did, I did get the privilege to see the hit that Cronwall threw on Heatley in the playoffs that ended Heater's career. Sorry, Ziri. I, I know you're a big Heater fan, but that was a monster hit. All right, going down, we had Ozzy. I got a lot of respect for Ozzy, more so now that I did, um, you know, in his earlier days with the Wings. But um, I, I, love, I love Chris Osgood and had to add him to the collection. Uh, may not always be a Hall of Fame goalie, but definitely one of my favorites to watch. And then the Magician, Pavel Datsyuk. This one's not autographed, unfortunately, but it is uh, a good photo of Pav. And then uh, shifting over here, uh, Marty Broder, autographed. Um, this is, Marty's always been one of my favorite goalies. I've watched hockey a lot in the 90s, so I felt appropriate to have the, uh, the GOAT showing up here uh and i thought this was actually one of the better photos i found on ebay and below him steven stamkos i've been a stamkos fan since the end of the league uh 
felt like I needed to make sure that I actually had something of his represented here as well. So, uh, and then shifting over here, I got a couple card holders here. Uh, top one is all Iserman cards, different uh, Steve Iserman cards through the years. Uh, there is a rookie card right there. And then I, I do have one that was uh, signed by Steve himself. But yeah, and then one from uh, the Winter Classic game back up here at uh, <clears throat> the Big House here a few years ago. And then uh, second case, uh, not completely up to date on this one, but do need to make a, maybe a few changes here in the not so distant future. But uh, like, you know, these autographs I know are real. Obviously, I, I met Chelios at his restaurant here in Metro Detroit. Didn't ask for an autograph. He gave one anyways. Uh, Cujo, uh, this one's real too. Uh, my dad actually painted this house. And this is the only card I had a Cujo that was worth getting signed. So I have a Cujo autograph. Uh, Tyler Sagan was autographed. I think that's about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I got uh, a Justin Avocator down here. That's going to be... Uh, given away as a gift here, not too far from now. And then uh, Ovi. I think I'm gonna move this more into an Ovi uh, place. But here's what I really wanted to show you guys, besides the, the fact that I did a very nice uh, pallet wall back here, uh, is, there it is. There is the uh, holy grail of my basement right there, uh, my puck case. Uh, this is something that I built custom um, and contains pucks of my favorite players, uh, again, I'm a diehard Wings fan, but there are pucks from other guys that I do like to watch across the league. Um, but I will say, um, this was actually a really fun build. Um, each one of these cases here is Velcroed onto the back just to make sure it doesn't um, fall off and you can swap things out pretty easily. But um, I do have a tribute to a buddy of mine who did pass a few years ago. Um, this is not his stick per se, but... Um, when we played street hockey growing up, that was the stick that he always used. And uh, I wanted to make sure when I got that uh, batch of sticks that I included a, a little tribute to my to my friend. So every time I see this, I do get a reminder of street hockey back in, uh, in the sub. So uh, I'll go up here. Uh, so we got Gretzky, McDavid, Gordy Howe, Steve Eiserman. Nick Lidstrom, and Ovi. So top row, always my favorites. Um, then we'll go down second row. So we got uh, Nick Cronwell, Brian Rafalski, Pavel Datsuk, Henrik Zetterberg, Euro Twins. Gotta love it. Uh, Dylan Larkin, and can anyone guess this one? Sergei Fedorov. Uh, I, 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 was, I know I was sour at Fedorov after leaving the wings. Uh, the way that he did, but watching Russian Five, I I had to get myself a, a piece of Fedorov back into uh, the collection. So that's my only piece of autograph Fedorov, but love it nonetheless. All right, third row, we got T.J. Oshi. Again, all the the shootout goals for Team USA back in the day. Anthony Mantha now on the Capitals. Martin Saint Louis, one of my favorite guys to watch playing up. Nikita Kucherov. Steven Stamkos, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to regret this one. Uh, Patrick Laine uh, definitely did not have a great year this last year. So Patrick Laine from the Jets. Uh, I do have my, this one's not signed, but I did get to go to game two of the 0-2 Cup Finals. One of the greatest memories I'll have ever. Uh, this one I added this year, um, and usually I do it from the winning team on the Cup, but I bought it early. I don't know if I jinx things. I didn't really want Montreal to win, but I got a Cole Caulfield puck because uh, he is going to be an absolute stud in this league. Uh, so, yeah, Cole Caulfield. I got room to add to this row here as well. Uh, and then bottom row, we got Tyler Sagan, Drew Doughty, Jonathan Quick, Gustav Nyquist. I got him to do this one in person. Uh, Danny DeKaiser. And Jimmy Howard also done in person. So there's the puck case. Would love to see what you guys thought of this whole uh, area that I've got set up down here. Again, I built I built the shelving unit. I did everything for the lightsabers. I built the puck case. I did the pallet wall, all of that. Um, this is kind of a mix of 
collecting as a kid and collecting in more recent history and all of this is much more recent. So yeah, there's my setup guys. Love it down here. Get a hangout down here, watch hockey, watch Star Wars, Mando, etc. So yeah, if you guys like what you guys see, feel free to <clears throat> like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Thanks. Have a great weekend.